you the most powerful phrase we utter as humans. We hear it at every stage of life and it always turns us into kids again. Wild, playful, and with limited control of our bodily functions. Love is a many splendored thing. Love conquers all. Love is eternal until it ends. And that is where I come in. Being in love is the best thing. Even better than reset. I love love. My parents said they found love in the back of a car and it helped create me. Hi, Tyler. You look like harder than sacks and swords today. I made you this. Wow, Brittany. Thanks. I'm dumping you. Heard you got cooties. Sorry, it's really catchy. Love blows. Love blows. You're a great person, but this relationship just isn't working out. It's time to move on. For you, for me, for us. Well, yeah. <laughs> Sweetie, don't cry. No, mm. this isn't goodbye. Okay, it's, it's hello. Hello to a new friendship. Wait, who are you again? I'm Brittany. Your ex-boyfriend Sean hired me to dump you. <laughs> oh no. Oh, it's nothing personal. It's it's what I do. I'm Brittany Brooks, the breakup artist. But seriously, I mean, you met him on a reality TV show. And, you were doomed from day one. <laughs> so how'd it go? She was a stage three crier, Robin. I think I got tear stains on my Manolos. OK, your next client's name is Linda. She needs to break up with her boyfriend. She can't stand being in the same room with him. Gary's just, he's full of hot air. He's a liar, huh? No, no. He farts a lot. And it's nasty. Oh. Wow. I mean, that was just so clear and concise. Even I want to break up with me now. Here. Um, on the back is Dr. Stein's member. He's a gastroenterologist. Why would I need a stomach doctor? <laughs> With your mother? <gasps> no! We're gonna need something with sprinkles stat. Okay. Look, Marissa, <laughs> I know that it hurts, okay? But that's what I'm here for, okay? Men think all their past discrepancies will be forgiven with fresh roses or chocolate nougats. Well, I like nougat. No! That's your emotion talking. Here's what you need to do. First, you need to get through the five emotional stages of post breakup dump. Stage one is denial. He can't break up with me because I rock. Then anger. The fool, how dare he deny my rockiness? Next is bargaining. Well, you know, maybe if I did more when we have sex, you'd realize I rock. Then depression. Maybe I don't rock. And finally, acceptance. Screw him. I do rock. I've never seen someone go through all the five stages so quickly. Honey, you're going to be fine. With my mother! <laughs> Splitsville Incorporated. When you're done kissing him, we'll start dissing him. This is Tiffany. How can I help? Yes. And we're also running a weekly special on our It's Not You, It's Me breakup motif. Never, <laughs> ever wear silk to a breakup meeting, especially when frosting is involved. Clients looking to end it all are unpredictable. I mean, they're actually thinking with their heart. What's wrong with that? The heart is a special ed organ. It's not supposed to think. 
And when you use something for the wrong purpose, it usually breaks. Oh! Air kisses! Ashes! <laughs> Come on, Frit. Ashley is your sister. Oh, your By blood it's only. So cute, right? She's a spoiled, shallow brat with the metabolism of a friggin' Russian gymnast. I mean, her MySpace occupation is professional hottie. Oh. <laughs> oh, hey, Brad. Hmm. We're going clubbing tonight. If you uh, stop giving off the Ellen vibe, you can come. Why bother? 99% of all relationships end with someone being dumped, and of the 1% who actually get married, 50% end up divorced. You have a half a hundredth percent chance of being in a loving relationship. <laughs> oh, forgot. This is my boyfriend, Mike. Hi. Ash's new BF, huh? Let me guess, a plastic surgeon, lawyer, movie producer? No, I, uh, I teach art to disadvantaged kids at the YMCA. Actually, you know what? I just entered my kids in a mural contest. The winner gets 250 grand, which would fund us for a year. So if, uh, if you guys ever have any interest in coming to help us paint. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> She's so cute, isn't she? You gonna come club with us, Mike? No, no, I'm just here to drop Ashley off. I'm not actually allowed to dance because of a medical condition known as being Caucasian. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to go, sweetheart. <sighs> I miss you already. Um, bye. Really nice to meet you guys. See ya. Wow, Ash, not bad. This one actually casts a shadow. You'll be sick of him by Friday. Oh, you're just jealous because a man in my life doesn't require batteries. Just once. Come out with us. I ended a lot of relationships today. No, it's the I just paid 11 bucks for a vodka cranberry vibe. Rick, these guys are from that new MTV show I was telling you about. They're rich and available. Before you begin, you should know that I don't find either of you the least bit attractive. Oh. Okay, that was rude. No, that was honest. Rude is trying to set someone up. Who doesn't want to be set up? Mm -hmm. Come, come. Um, these guys aren't drunk enough to hit on bread. Let's scare her up a man. Have I seen you someplace before? Yeah, yeah, you have. That's, that's why I don't go there anymore. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Hey, where are you going, huh? Don't be so picky. Stupid guys, stupid $11 drinks. Hi, I'm, I'm looking for Brittany Brooks. Look, the rumors are false, okay? I'm not looking for the L word type action. I, I'm so sorry it's late. It's just, it's my boyfriend. I. It's okay. <laughs> Come on in. I'm a convenience store. Always open. Rick is just the most amazing guy. I mean, he's so kind and caring and sensitive and his body is just sick. I mean, he does yoga. His downward dog, it's just. It's just legendary. I mean, I'm treating him like dirt right now. Like icky dirt. Not like that fancy nutrient rich dirt that they sell at Hope Depot. I just. No! Just break up with him in person? It's a bad idea. Look, d men are genetically programmed with an ability to convince us that they can change when we're just about to dump them. You know, the, the second chance will be different than the 12 others we've given them. Listen, as an independent third party, I will be completely immune to all his charms, pleas, and pathetic cries. 
I'm the breakup artist. That's what I do. Thank you. This business, I mean, it's gotta be so depressing dealing with everyone else's misery all day. Strong humans like me have a duty to help people who actually believe in love. The ones who make tissue and Prozac a necessity. <laughs> Plus, I never take my work home with me. one of those creepy club guys. I even watched the news this morning to see if they found your dead body. <laughs> your one o'clock just canceled. So they found another breakup service. Probably another freelance dumper. They never last. You don't mess with the best. And that's Brittany Brooks. She always talks about herself in the third person. Tiffany hates it. Rick, right? Brittany. Look, uh, Sally, she thinks you're a great guy and she loves you, but well, she's just not in love with you. So that's why she's breaking up with you. Uh it's not you. It's it's her. No, it's it's me. I should have treated her better. The truth is, I never really felt that spark with her, you know? I guess that's why I've been spending so much time focusing on work recently. I, I run this dating website called Emate. Emate? Yeah, I know you guys. Uh, keep me in business. <laughs> <laughs> Sally really is amazing. Probably why I couldn't let her go, even though I knew she wasn't the one for me. She's the first girl who ever really made me believe in love. Yeah, well. You know, we all believe in stupid things every now and then. <laughs> Santa Claus, wrinkle cream, zero calorie Coke. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you're gonna be fine, okay? Pain is temporary. People get dumped every day. Yep, by the way, um, love your outfit. Chartreuse is the perfect color for your skin complexion. Thank you. Um, but here's a, here's my card. And, uh, really nice to meet you. Stage floor crier? No, not at all. I, I've i seen all sorts of reactions from dumpies. Fear, confusion, throwing of things, begging. I, but never anything like this. I, he actually said it was his fault. <laughs> but he's a guy. Men never admit to their own mistakes. I know. I mean, okay, let's say hypothetically love does exist. What kind of a girl would take a guy like Rick for granted? Ugly nose, fake boobs, 
Ooh, eating disorder. Needs to get an eating disorder. Hey, Brit Brit. Can you call before you come? I don't have room on my speed dial. So, I forgot to tell Alan I'm leaving him for Mike. You need to dump him for me. I'm supposed to meet him at Aura in 20 minutes. Better hurry. Laters! Brit, we had two more cancellations today. They both say this other new breakup service was cheaper. Should we be worried? Also, found this message on your desk, Brit. TiVo His Girl Friday with Holly ah. Grant. <laughs> <sighs> um, you two go take care of Ashley's latest man talk now. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I uh, just wanted to thank you. Oh. I really appreciate what you do. If Sally and I had broken up face to face, or would have been uh, crying and screaming and curling up in the fetal position, and nobody needs to see that. It's no worries, a people person, so. <laughs> Listen, I know this is gonna sound forward, but uh, I'm not a guy who sits and mopes after a breakup. Would you join me for dinner tonight? Um, oh, uh, company policy outlaws dating dumpies. Wow, that... So, did not go like I planned. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, it's just, uh, and when I saw you, obviously you're beautiful, and I guess I'm just old school. When I see someone I like, I just charge full speed ahead. I almost seem to work for my hero, Cary Grant, and uh, that's why I'm here. You okay? <laughs> Lindsay really enjoyed her time with you, and you know it's it's not you. It... No, actually, it is you. When Brittany said you were so ugly, even Bill Clinton wouldn't sleep with you, she was just breaking the ice. She said, "Save your breath because you'll need it to blow up your next girlfriend." No, no, I am not laughing, sir. It's just, come on, it's funny. Hello? Hello, sir? What the hell, Britt? You're supposed to be a quick and merciless ninja love assassin. Instead, you're doctor filling everyone's relationships. Relax, I'm on top of it. This other breakup service is stealing our clients, and, well, business is slower than Tiffany taking the SATs. Hey! Sometimes things can be true and false. Plus, these bills are just starting to... Hold that thought, okay? What? No, I'm sorry. Okay, I'll be there. Okay. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I asked if I could use the bathroom an hour ago. I'm still holding that thought. Go pee, sweetie. Arrowhead water guy. Oh. Hi. Are you stuck in a bad relationship that you want to get out of? Yes. For 27 years. But that's not why I'm here. <clears throat> I'm Bob Green. I'm Brittany's account manager at Second Pacific Bank. Now I'm here regarding her last few mortgage payments. What about them? She hasn't made any. love at first sight until I saw you. You deserve that storybook movie romance that you've always wanted. And I want to be your leading man. I know I came on too strong, but I can't help it. There's just 
Something about you, Brittany Brooks. I wish I could quit you. Don't quit me. Make her own romantic movie. <clears throat> Wait, I think I have onion breath. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. and I work with Rick. Oh! He has pictures of you everywhere, and I just totally recognized you. Oh, no way! I'm, I'm actually meeting him here. That's it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, Rick raves about you. About how close you've become in such a short time. <laughs> yeah. And it scares him. That's why he feels it's best just to nip it in the bud now. <laughs> I'm sorry, um... Why, uh, why would he tell you and not? Yeah. Yeah. Are you breaking up with me? Well, it's nothing personal. It's what I do. Chuck Charleston, breakup specialist. Uh, no? Okay. <clears throat> you used the nip it in the butt speech? That's mine. I invented it. It, it is cop. You are in a lot of trouble, mister. Wait, well, look, it, it's not him, it's you. Uh, oh! Careful! That's pumpernickel! Yeah. All right. Beat it, Chuckles. Evidence. Evidence. Sorry about that, Britt. Chuck's just a uh, trainee in our business. Our business? Yeah. You're the other breakup service? You pretended to like me? Whoa, whoa, I was just doing market research, all right? Checking out my competition. I couldn't know that you'd fall for me. Besides, I was told you were this uh, emotionally tough businesswoman and, well, possibly not even into dudes. Anyway, Brooksy, here's the deal. Love is the one <clears throat> thing in this world that people will always need. E-mate brings them together and E-doubt pulls them apart. I control both ends of love's production. It's capitalism at its finest. You're Microsofting breakups? Brittany, I'm sorry. It's just business. I never meant to hurt you. That's my line, too, you hack! <clears throat> it's OK. You've been in this situation before, just on the other side. Compose yourself and leave with dignity. <clears throat> Loser. Now, for years, I told my dumpies that life goes on, it'll all be okay. But now I realize there are plenty of other fish in the sea. Nope. 
All the good fish have been caught. The ones left swimming have been tossed back in by someone else. Come on. Mm -hmm. I love this song. Turn it off. Oh. God, I'm so done with Rick. He's a lying, immature, scummy, two-faced. You think if I lost 10 pounds, you'd take me back? Oh. Oh. We need to tell her about the mortgage. Not while she's in the cereal stage. It'll kill her. Oh. Air kisses all. <laughs> You need to dump Mike for me. Turns out, he's not rich. Like, he's got all these expensive looking paintings in his place, but he like drew them himself. Oh, the nerve. Brittany needs a break right now, Ash. She's taking things one day at a time. No, no. Okay. If one more person tells me to take things one day at a time, I'm, I'm gonna start taking things two days at a time. Yeah, I'm gonna jump from Monday to Thursday. If Rick wants to break a battle, he's gonna get one. You do not mess with the master. Mmm. Mm. Brittany, hey, what? it's really great to see you. What are you doing here? Mike, Ashley is... Amazing. <laughs> I know, I know, she's like... My own personal angel. <laughs> Ashley, an angel? She may be the Antichrist. I have priests looking into it. You have really incredible eyes. You and you and Ashley, you both have these just amazing piercing eyes. Every time she looks at me, it's like she's just, you know, peeling back the layers of my soul. <laughs> Ashley's breaking up with you. What? Yeah, it's, uh, it's what she does. I'm sorry, but it's over. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. But I totally recommend the lobster ravioli here. Get it with the Alfredo. I should have been nicer to her. I should have treated her better. Been there. Oh. Do you think if, if I gained 10 pounds, you'd take me back? <laughs> oh, no. Ashley. Steven, you're past due for a dumping. They did? Half the price? <sighs> okay, bye. Rick's stupid company is stealing all our immature 20-something commitment-phobic males. I mean, there are meal tickets. Come on. Oh, Tiff. Come on. What are we gonna do? It's okay. We have to figure something out. We will. <laughs> he was in no condition to drive. Wait a second. You're Ashley's sister. I mean, you know what kind of man she wants, right? Listen, listen, I will, I will pay you anything you want to help me win her back, okay? Anything, I've got maybe 10 grand in my savings. Well, take, we'll it. take it. What? Yeah. No, 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 I, I don't get people together, okay? I pull them apart. That'd be like Al Gore selling SUVs. Brittany, Brit, you don't understand, okay? Just help me anything. Just tell me what she's looking for. Money. Do you make a lot? Oh, I'm a CAR teacher. Mm hmm. Strike one. Do you enjoy fine dining? I'm a vegan. Strike two. Ashley only enjoys eating things that once had a soul. Do you like to travel? I've been to Bakersfield once. And huh? strike three. Sorry, can't help no, you. No, no, Brittany, please, you don't understand. Listen, Mike, you seem like a decent guy, and you're oddly attractive in a George from Grey's Anatomy kind of way. But you have the one thing that Ashley's just not interested in. Heart. So. Oh. The arrowhead.
head guy, too? Yeah. Your last few mortgage payments bounced. We're gonna have to pay them back fast, or... Or I lose everything. No, this is why love blows. I mean, why didn't you girls stop me? Oh, we'll fix it, Britt. I'll work overtime. And I'll give back the stapler I took from the supply room. Sorry, girls, but you've been downsized. That's good. Okay, guys, that's it. See you Thursday. Good work. I knew it. I knew the power of love would bring you back. Yeah, love. Still 10 grand, right? Uh, yeah, sure. I mean, pay anything to get Ashley back. She was my muse. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I painted this when I was with Ashley. I couldn't stop painting. I had this artistic explosion in my soul the entire week that we were together. You got whipped in a week? And you know what? I even sold two of my pieces. I never sold any of my art before I met Ashley. And now... All I can paint is this. Yeah. I need Ashley back, Brittany. I need my muse back. These kids are expecting me to lead them in this mural contest. How am I supposed to lead them when all I can paint is this? That's, that's why I'm here, so. Wait, you're gonna help? Yes. Ah! Yes! No. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Rule number one. Yes. Do not ever hug me again. Oh. Rule number two. Yeah. What I say goes. No questions. Really? Even if I have a... Sorry? Rule number three. No refunds. Within this building lies the hottest collection of women west of an MTV real world casting call. Hold your own in here, and there's hope for us yet. I'm allergic to dogs, but I have a cat. Great. Casey, women like Bat are similar to Ashley in hotness and lack of humanity. So consider this practice of flirting spring training. Brittany, I don't want her. I want Ashley. Yeah, and Ashley loves confident men. Men with the balls to hit on anyone, anywhere. God, how'd you meet my sister in the first place? Oh, she, uh, she sent me a text said that I was hot to come over. <laughs> Adorable. <laughs> well, if you can't handle hitting on a girl you don't even care about, how do you expect to handle being comfortable around a girl who you love? A girl who's your muse. Maybe there is hope for us yet. Well, that girl's married, but I think she wants me to cat sit. So, good? Huh? Ashley doesn't want a guy who menstruates more than she does. Get back out there and prove to me that you actually have a Y chromosome. Oh, uh, here. I get that. Yeah? Yes. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Say thank you, Leia. <laughs> uh, I'm Mike. Melanie. <laughs> nice to meet you. And you already met Leia. 
Give him a kiss. It's okay. It's okay. Dude. Oh. Oh, I'm so oh. sorry. Look at him. Get back Leia. now. Leia. Ah. Come back. <laughs> Jobless Tiff. We need to save cash. Oh, this is a necessary evil. But but an outlet store? I'd be buying retail. Outdated retail. I wasn't looking at her chest. I was trying to read her t-shirt. Something written on her ass, too. Oh, Excuse me, ma'am. But your boyfriend is a big, fat jerk! Agreed. Agreed. We can make that significant other a lot less significant. Hi, Sarah. I'm Rick Barnes, president of EDUMP. I represent Pat, and while he apologizes for today's unfortunate incident, he feels that you've got real trust issues. That's why he thinks it's best for you two to go your separate ways. Are you breaking up with me? Yeah. Yeah. <gasps> oh. Dude, check out my other site, e -mate. A lot of Ooh. potential rebound chicks. Ladies? Mm -mm. Time to get our game faces on. Oh, sorry. Wrong game. <laughs> Dump you as soon as the credits roll! Oh, if it isn't the Matisse of mucus. Sorry, okay, I just didn't know you were gonna so quickly throw me to the wolves, the Pomeranians. Look, you and Ashley go together about as well as socks and sandals, okay? Let it go. What, are you kidding me? No, I need Ashley. I love her, okay? Love is an illusion created by the founders of Valentine's Day to peddle chocolates and those candy hearts with the lame sayings on them. Love and 650 gets you a latte. What does that even mean? Ashley doesn't want a romantic, okay? She must have been in an apple teeny induced haze to hit on you in the first place. Okay, well, you know what, then? Help me become the man she wants. All right, mold me, sculpt me. I will be your blank canvas so you can create your masterpiece. Okay, you took that metaphor a little too far. Well? Fine, <sighs> come on. <sighs> Cary Grant. Gregory Peck, those were real men. Men who don't exist today. I mean, you see the way they act around girls? Every movement is confident and calculated, like a figure skater. Except they actually like girls. I didn't, I just, I must have fallen asleep. Get out! Go! Okay, okay, yeah, I thought you were gonna mold me. All right, that 10 grand, I want it in cash. I do not accept Visa or MasterCard. Yeah, okay, anything, just bring my muse back. <laughs> Steven Salon, noon today. First thing we need to do is get you groomed. Steven Salon, got it, okay. Uh, promise you won't mess with my hair. Too much, okay? Yeah? Ashley considers celebrity hairstyles fine literature. With an Esquire cut, she'll think you wrote it too. Look like a jiggle. It takes hours to look like a rich creeper. Oh, I can barely breathe in this. Way too tight. I... It needs to be tight. Okay, Ashley likes to remember definition. 
Do you even work out? I jazzercise. Kidding. How tall are you? About 6'1". Really? About 5'11". You're gonna need two inch lifts. Ashley likes her men tall, dark, and handsome. Look, I got a deal on the shirt, so it's only gonna cost you 200. Bucks? For... Oh, Brittany, I can find a three pack at the outlet store for $11.95. <laughs> oh, 200 bucks. <laughs> Ashley smells the stench of wholesale on you. Not even God himself could get you back together. The hot dog is in the bun. I'll die. <laughs> Camouflage doesn't help you blend in with a ficus. Sorry, but remember to end all your transmissions with over. OK, Brittany needs her help. Brittany fired us. That's because she was sad. If we can follow Rick and figure out how he stole out our clients, then we can take him down. And then Brittany will undownsize us. B -b -b Please, Robs. Britt's in trouble, and I, I don't want to let her down again. Okay? Which is why we need to be all incognito genital. Incognito, sweetie. Incognito. <laughs> OK, let's go catch up with the hot dog. <laughs> Try a divorce. The hot dog is leaving the bun. Over. Stop the hot dog dog thing. Over. You, uh, you need some help there, brother? Ah, oh, these can be tricky. Good news is the pink shirt works. All right. Booyaka, right? Round twice, right? Through the loop. Oh, thanks, bro. I'm meeting my girl here, and I want to look good, you know? We've been having issues. Really? <clears throat> Let's talk. She swears nothing happened. Ah, oh, Christian. I know checks, all right? And where there's smoke, there's fire. End things now before you get hurt. We've been together a year. I don't know if I could handle breaking up with her. Thankfully, my friend, you won't have to. Kind of bigger than Brittany's place. Kind of a lot bigger. I want a hot dog. What do we got? 500 new clients this month, sir. 300 for e -mate. Good, good. Just make sure we keep the loved and the loved Lauren balanced. Oh, and uh, what about Brittany? She's done. Yo, Bob! You got dumped because you liked Ashley a hell of a lot more than she liked you. Relationships need balance, OK? It's got to look like you don't want Ashley anymore. Girls need to think you think you're better than them, or else they think that they can have you, and then they won't want you anymore. <sighs> If you want to win Ashley back, you need to pretend that you don't care about her. And considering your level of wickedness, that's going to take a lot more practice. OK, well, then shouldn't I be practicing yeah, on, uh... Go, go, yeah, go, Yeah! 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 Women? As a straight male, you're naturally aloof around other men. You need to act the same way around women. So I have to be an ass? Exactly! That's what women want. Can I buy you a drink? Oh, sure, man. Thanks. Uh, no, you can't. Do uh, you want to shoot some pool, then? <clears throat> yes. Very nice. Hang on a second, bro. Hang on. Look, 
I'm sorry. It's not you. It's it's just me. Okay. I, I just got out of a relationship, and it's been. <laughs> it was great to meet you, and I'll call you right before kickoff on Sunday. Okay. I wasn't a loop. Okay. I thought you two were gonna start making out. I'm sorry, Brittany, but I'm a friendly guy. Okay. And, and I'm pretty sure that women like affection. That is just what we tell guys so we seem sensitive. Oh, this isn't me, Brittany. This isn't me. I don't play games. Listen, the first time that Ashley kissed me, my head said that this was a one-shot deal, but my heart, my heart said, follow her, you fool, and I did, and I found my muse. Love is not a choice. Yes, it is. Love is a chemical reaction, a, a craving. Like if I can control my urges for many chimichangas, then love can be controlled, too. You're supposed to be my blank canvas, remember? I'm trying to create a Rembrandt here in your finger painting. I don't like the new mic. Yeah, I will actually dump the old one. Oh my God. Paul? God, I can't believe it's you. It's not. My name's Jeff. Right, but we went to SC together. I went to UCLA. Weren't you a business major? History. Oops, my bad. <laughs> Hey, the craziest thing just happened. I'm sitting here waiting for you, and then this other girl comes up and... Hey, Jeffy, you big stud. Well, Jeff and I have been together since our days at UCLA. Judy, I... Yeah, I don't know this girl. Remember how we used to study together for history? <laughs> I'm surprised either one of us passed. Judy, baby, I promise, I don't know this girl. I never seen her before, I swear. Why would you? Hey, who are you anyway? The chicken has fallen the coop. Engage the chicken. Engage. Over. Okay, you can do this, Robin. Are you okay, Miss? Because I work for Splitsville and I can help you. Hello, Edom. I need to get rid of my cheating boyfriend ASAP. The chicken is crossing the road. Yeah, I'm here. Oh. oh no. Come on. Air kisses. Look, if you're looking for your latest boyfriend deletion, I'm gonna have to charge you. No, I'm not dumping my new guy. You okay? You look worse than usual. New guy? Wonderful. Just perfect. No. He so is. And he's renting out Club Finale tonight. I wanted to see what Rob's and Tiff's were doing. Oh, um... Well, I guess you can come then. No, I, I really... Could use a vodka cranberry. future me a cult is against me. Yeah, that one. You know, the least you could have done was hired me to break up with myself. Then I would have gotten something out of it. It's not my fault. I mean, look at her. Ashley has this aura, like she pretends to not care about anything. She's not pretending. Listen, I'm opening up a new breakup division, all right? Strictly for the removal of sloppy seconds, and I need someone to run it for me. Someone like you. I had to pick the red. Thank you. 
Just keep going, guys. Do your best. Mike. Come on, let's go. Come on. Good job, guys. Ashley, you look amazing. It's really good to see you. Wow, you, uh, you look terrific. You know, we should totally hang out sometime. Totally hang uh, out? Uh, what are you, 12? Oh, you're gonna make her a mixtape, too? Okay, okay, would you please stop? Just turn down the volume. All right, you're gonna force me to pull a Van Gogh. Get focused, okay? No compliments, one word answers. Ashley is your muse, you need her, and I need that money. All right. <clears throat> now, just do what we rehearsed. Don't forget the three A's. Arrogant, aloof, assy. Okay. Right. If you run into any trouble, she's coming. Move it, then go. Okay, walk slowly. Be cool. I said cool, not constipated. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, well, uh, it's nice talking to you, gorgeous. All right. Yeah, talk to you later. Mike. Oh, uh, what's up? Amber. Ashley. Right. You got a haircut. Had it styled. I like your shirt. Is that Sea Island cotton? Yes. 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 Esquire says. You know, Esquire says that uh, once you cut the tags off your clothes, they're dated. Plus, pink is the new white, so I've got to update most of my casual wear. Thankfully, black is still the new black, so Thankfully, I've still got black that is going. still the new black, so I've still got that going on. Miro mor mirame en los ojos. Um, I was just spanglishing. I was, I was, uh, I was just spanglishing. You know, it's a new thing to do. You start your sentence in English, you end it in Spanish. Oh, of course, spanglishing. I've been doing that for mucho tampon. Right. Uh, well, I've got to go, but we should totally. Hello. Walk forward. Pivot. Walk away. Okay, if she stares at you for at least four seconds, we are in. Four, three, two, one. Yes! Ah! I'm so gonna pull this off, do-da, do-da. Then I'm gonna get ten grand, do-da, do-da, da cha ching I'm gonna save my place, yeah, I'm pun frickin' the face, uh. Then I'll take his business down, do-da, do-da. Oh. oh my god, I am so... Brittany! Sally? Um, I'm okay, really, I'm totally okay. You, you dropped something. Let me tell you girls, it is great having two breakup specialists with your experience here. Welcome to Edom. <laughs> Brit! This is not what it looks like. Totally. Good. Because it looks like you're hurting me. This is just a little thank you for all of your help so far. Rick used to shower me with roses all the time. Now every time I see them, I think of him and I remember all the pain. Rick ruined red roses for me. He also ruined bubble baths, New York City, and most of my music collection, including Sally and the 90s Madonna. Ashley killed frozen yogurt for me. 
also uh, hammocks, banana pancakes, and the color magenta. I lost French food, Diet Cola, and airplane flights to Rick. Da Vinci is dead to me. So are butterfly kisses, ping pong, and reality TV. The beach, Pictionary, Sweet Tea, iPod, Slow Dances, Cary Grant. Sunsets, Sleeping in, Strawberries, and John Denver's Country Road. Rick ruined everything for me. Maybe I should come back tomorrow. Rick's company is huge, and I'm just me. And now they have my two best friends. Well, they're a heartless corporation just in it for the money. You dumped people out of love. Ugh, will you stop with that awful four-letter word? <laughs> you know, if the writers of these movies you like so much never experienced love, they'd have no idea how to portray it on screen. And you wouldn't have any idea who Cary Grant is. You see, when a person has love and they channel it into something, whether it's a painting or a business that helps people shed their unwanted exes, it becomes a force of nature. A passionate person fueled by love is a force that no one can defeat. All right, guys, we're gonna do some more passionate and stronger strokes, just like this, all right? And be vibrant with your colors, because we are happy. And this is a happy mural. Hi. Uh, keep going, guys. Like you asked. I got at least five new names. Oh. And where would our client list be? I mean, I should have the new names. <laughs> <laughs> well, leave them on my desk. No one sees the client list but me and Rick. Hmm? supposed to wear white after Labor Day. Oh. Oh. And that's for ditching me last night. Well, I remembered how much you appreciated our other night together. Yeah, but last night I need... I mean, I wouldn't have hurt you for staying. Okay, hang on, stop. So first you're pissed at me because I stayed, now you're mad at me for leaving. Yeah. Well, how am I... Oh, come on, Brittany. What... Well, I'm sorry. Congratulations! You passed! Passed what? The female brain test. See, our logic is way more advanced than your standard Earth male. Yet, 
We expect you to understand, even when we don't make sense. That makes no sense. Exactly. But you kept your cool and followed the golden rule. Always apologize to a girl when she's upset, especially when you didn't do anything wrong. So hang on. All the crying last night? That was part of this test? Yeah. Of course. I mean, come on, me, cry. Ah. Well, good, because I was worried about you. That guy was progressively lighter from head to toe. Who dresses him? Have you ever considered working on the happy end of relationships? People don't need help falling in love. They have the internet and alcohol for that. <sighs> but they do need someone to help cushion the blow when it's over. Because no matter how gently you dump someone, what your ex is really saying is, my life is better without you in it. <laughs> Getting dumped is like skinning your knee as a kid. I'm just the kiss from mom that makes it feel better. I really hope that one day you and love get back on speaking terms. Well, this is just a leftover emotion from our hairy ancestors. I mean, when your house is under constant attack from woolly mammoths, then yeah, love and all that other cutesy stuff are important. But mm, today we have wireless everything. We're self-sufficient. Don't need to rely on each other. <laughs> <laughs> so what about them? Probably been together for over 30 years. Their youthful good looks are gone. They've already gotten on each other's every last nerve. And I'm sure they're not in it for the sex anymore. <laughs> so how do you explain the fact that they're still together? How else other than love? Senility of Viagra. <laughs> Just saying. While I agree that her shirt was cut sluttily, it also had a very humorous slogan on the front, so clearly my client was looking at that and not her boob. So it's over. Deal with it. Oh, well, pardon me. I don't know how I didn't see this tall drink of handsome. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Well, just as I thought, made in heaven. <laughs> I'm on my way to Crunch to do some pectoral fries. Mm -hmm. Care to spot me? Okay. Good work, Stephen. Your next dumping is on the house. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the client list? Because you get it to him, sweetie. <laughs> Let me go! Is somebody thirsty? I've got a blueberry shorts. <laughs> or maybe, maybe you'd prefer a whiskey shot. No, 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 oh. no anything but that. No! <clears throat> Where is the client list, Chuck? I can't! I can't! Okay, you don't need to break game. Bob here had a full head of hair when he married his wife. Now look at him. It's hideous. She nags him, restricts his football watching, and she's on the Olympic sex program once every four years. Sucks for Bob. Move. He obviously needs to cut her loose, but E-Dump is just getting overloaded with clients recently, so I thought I'd outsource a few cases to you. You interested? No. Brooks, please, just listen to me, all right? Look, I came to bury the hatchet. Yeah, well, you already did. It's in my back. <sighs> Please, just accept this rose and these delicious nougats in the spirit of forgiveness. I'm here to help, all right? Don't let the gift horse in the mouth. I'm staring at the horse's other end. <sighs> Brittany. Brittany, we need to be civil, all right? For Ashley's sake, I 
Oh, I love her. God, why is every man in love with my sister? Just let me give you a job, all right? Oh. You can run your own little breakup here out of Ida. It'll solve your bank problems. <sighs> Brittany, please, I... I don't want to fight with my future sister-in-law. Get out. I mean, it's perfect irony, really. Breakup artist done in by love. I'm broke. My only hope is to get this guy together with my sister. And, you know, he's nice and he tries really hard, but he just lacks Rick's charm. I'm surprised my sister fell for him at all. And, God, what was she thinking? <laughs> Sorry, just no one else to talk to. Well, I know it looks bad right now, but I have every faith that you will bring my muse back. If you want the money now, I can give it to you. No, I don't take money I didn't earn. Not my sister. Ashley liked you for one reason. She thought you were rich. Okay, Rick's got cash, which is why he's got Ashley. You know, we can fake your coolness, and maybe we can make you seem a little more financially attractive. First, we're gonna need some money. Twenty bucks. The emo kids love your art work. I just came to help. Yeah, well, your help's why I'm sitting here with one client. Ooh. Britt, this hasn't been easy for us either. I miss you. And Tiff's so crushed, she's going back to, to get her beauty school GED. Look. This file contains all Rick's clients, many of whom he stole from you. Swing half of them back to your side. And his business is done. I'll take them all. So we got the money. Now what? Uh oh. All you got? Oh, shut up. I can't feel my abs anymore. You know, I think you're supposed to rest in between sets. Did Romeo rest when chasing <sighs> Juliet? Ross never gave up on pursuing Rachel. Right now, another man is whining and dining the woman of your dreams. A horrible, disgusting other man. Ugh. Three. <sighs> you ready? Let's do the thing. Okay. Good for dinners and daytime summer barbecues. Yes. Any movies after the third day? Nice. I knew that. Let's go again. Oh, sh I know. I looked. It's a force of habit. Okay. Ow. Okay. It was. Never mind. Oh. And I want summaries of all the fall lines by tomorrow. How's your fitness? Uh, it only takes me 12 minutes to do the eight minute abs now. Nice. Oh, guys, I'm so sorry. I completely forgot. Hey, oh, come on. Oh, come on, guys. Hey, hey, you know, I'll come in early tomorrow morning, all right? We're going to get this done, I promise.
Okay, you know what, Brittany? I'm done with this, all right? I'm done with the practice. I'm done with the training. I want my muse now. Okay. You ready? What's up, Amber? Ashley. Right. Were, uh, were you getting massage today? Mm. So what do you want, a ride home or something? <laughs> no, no. Uh, my boyfriend's coming to get me. <clears throat> he, like, has a Mercedes. Mm. Well, have a good night. This is three grand a bottle. What, is that a lot? Nah, I just sold one of my paintings. You just sold one of your paintings? Half a mil. Really? You just sold one of your paintings? Yeah, it was a bad week. <laughs> I totally misread you. You really come off as that wholesale shopping vibe. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's uh, just an act to keep away all the chicks that are just after my money. Those are the worst. Yeah. It's your stop. Good thing, right? Yeah. <sighs> Just drop us off. Can't afford you for another hour.
sorry, guys, but you know what? I know we're better than this. And that's why we're gonna start over. We're gonna put our hearts into it, and we're gonna put our souls into it. Yeah, put some seafoam green into it. And remember, guys, we're telling a story here. We're telling a story about good versus evil, and we're telling a story about love. What the hell, Mike? This is our D-Day. We're on a strict schedule. Ashley will be at Avalon by 10.15. Spider Club, 10.30. She asked me out. Ashley asked you out? Ashley never asked anyone out. Oh, that's great. I got your muse back. Turn her down. What? I just thought that after the no, other... No, Mike, I need this, okay, or else I lose everything. Got your text. Yeah. You need something? I need my girls back. Bouquet, bouquet! <laughs> I'm so sorry that I downsized you girls. Hmm. But I have a secret mission tonight. Ooh. You wanna get upsized? Let's yes. do it. Yes! Yes! <laughs> yes. Oh, I totally want to see you too, Rick. But yeah, no, we're gonna have to wait until tomorrow. I totally have plans with someone else tonight. Laters. How did you know I liked pink roses? Red ones got ruined. Keep feeding her wine, Mike. The higher her blood alcohol level, the better our chances. You're right, sir. They're on the move. Powder my nosy. If the waitress comes, I want a low 73.5 degrees. Okay, very nicely done. We almost have bounce. Go to the appetizer page. Follow the script and we will be fine. Okay, well, what if she does something unexpected? Desserts. Static. What? What's going on with the um, static? Mike, check, check. Wait, can you hear me? Hey, you know what? Forget about it. Don't even worry. You've taught me well, okay? I, I can do this on my own. No, screwed. I think it's the batteries. There you go. <laughs> oh, ugh. Mm -mm. Okay. Match the diode up with this ionic charger. It won't circulate its power. Tiff. <laughs> <laughs> After dinner, you should try the creme brulee. It's Atkins friendly here. The last time we were together, you so gave off this granola loving, tree hugging, I give my salary to the poor vibe. I am so glad I was wrong about you. Yeah, well, uh, you know, I, I'd like to take things slow. When I meet someone, I prefer to gradually reveal my personality as things. Ashley! 
You're being set up. This uh, guy paid your sister to help him get you back. What? Ashley, I understand oh. your concern. If oh, look. Oh crap. Pathetic. What the hell's going on, Mike? Yeah, Mike. Brit, Brit? Ladies? How could you, after everything I've done for you? She's just jealous, all right? She's trying to break us apart. But I love you, Ashley. a limo and, and those abs. Honey, it's really <gasps> expensive. No! Hey, hey, give it give back. Give it to me. So the ring is huge. Come on, Mike, this is it. Don't quit on me. Mike. I can't, I can't do this anymore. Brittany, all the games, all the lies. I don't, I don't even think she's my muse anymore. What? Last night, when I kissed her, I, I didn't feel that spark like before. Didn't feel as good as when I kissed you. That wasn't a real kiss. It, it was diversion. Doesn't count. Brittany, the second that we kissed, my mind exploded with thoughts and feelings I didn't even know existed. My body tingled, my lips were on fire. They were probably chapped, I hear- Brittany, <sighs> you took charge of my life, okay? You knew me, you read me. No, no, I'm illiterate. You're I... incredible. <sighs> incredible. I'm in love with you. Don't, don't. Don't do this. Just give it a chance. I can't take clothes. You know what, Brittany? If you want to treat me like a client, fine. You know, it's the logical choice, all right? But I know you felt something last night. You had to, okay? Listen. So for just once in your life, think with your heart. Okay? It's not you. It's me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Cary Grant, Gregory Peck, those were real men. Men who don't exist today. Ah! Rule number yes. one, do oh, not you, hug me. Get out! Is that all you got? What the hell, Mike? And considering your level of whippedness, that's gonna take a lot more practice. And that's for ditching me last night. Ow! And lead you through dark into I know what you're thinking. And you're thinking, what was she thinking? How could she pass up the love of a great guy? Great guy with a $10,000 check. But I didn't earn Mike's money. And I didn't earn Mike either. He needs to be with someone like him. Someone, someone who still believes in love. I just asked if you had more boxes. Oh, um, nope, that's, that's it. 
saying you should have kissed Mike. Shut up. Why do girls keep dumping that cutie? Look at the bright side for it. At least you kept him away from Ashley. You would have never been happy with her. Yeah. I mean, Mike's money might help me keep all this stuff, but at least I can still look myself proudly in the mirror. If I had a mirror. <laughs> we'll do one last check. Okay. okay. Oh. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. Job. You foreclose and rip people out of their homes. Does that make you happy? No. Hi. Paid off the bank. What? Why? You paid me to help you get back with Ashley, and I failed. I didn't earn your money. Oh, Brittany, I hired you to help me find my muse. I'm very happy with your services. Kids and I worked on it for three days straight. It just came together like all great art does when you're inspired. He liked you. He really did. You were great around the house, amazing in the kitchen, and a generous yet gentle lover. But he just needs to be with someone a little less evil. Plus, 1997 called, and it wants its unbuttoned Backstreet Boy shirt back. Oh. Unlike e Dump, we offer a special player's club card for Max like you. It offers discounts on all one-night stand removals. When the clock strikes four, we'll get him out your door. <laughs> okay. Gary? Hi. <gasps> I just felt like we had a connection. <laughs> yeah, I miss you too. And now, back to the financial news. Shares of E-Main took an Enron-esque nosedive today. The company's effort to break into the breakup business bombed. Now that company is getting dumped. I've realized I have a gift for starting relationships as well as ending them. So, I rebranded my company and dedicated it to all aspects of the most powerful force of all. Love rocks, this is Brittany, how can I help you? Well, how can he respect you, Steven? Stop putting out on the first date. But I still enjoy going back to my roots every now and then. Oh. Sorry to hear about everything. Yeah, the breakup business. It's a cruel one. <laughs> this is Nova Brooks. I'll be back. Especially now that I have Ashley. Yeah, about that. She doesn't really see this relationship progressing. It's not her. It's you. It seems there are lots more people looking to fall into love than fall out of it. Love blows. And that is the story behind this painting. Thanks for choosing us, sir. That money's going to good use. It's all because of you, my muse. Hi, I'm Ashley. Okay, so maybe love is a little more eternal than I gave it credit for. Yep, I love love again. 
And some dead British guy once said that it's better to have loved and lost than never to have loved at all. Love is always in our hearts. We can't lose it. But in case you did, I can help. I'm Brittany Brooks, the love consultant. Give me a call. Still trying to figure out what went wrong Thought we'd last forever cause we seemed so strong Saying I love you Felt so right Now I lie awake so many lonely nights Every place I go and everything I see Reminds me of you and how you took more than my heart when you ran from me So please give me back New York City You ruined airplane flights and NYC Bubble baths and some sweet tea I can't swim, I can't barbecue Green-eyed girls, they'll make me blue 